I'm Steven Weber. I'm the author of the Berkeley Music Online course, Production Analysis. I'm also a professor of music production and engineering here at Berkeley College of Music, where I've taught for 15 years. Before that, I've, uh, and actually concurrently with that, I'm a record producer. I've produced uh, well over 100 records. Uh, I had a great time doing that. I've also done a lot of engineering, was principal engineer at Mid-South Recording Studios for uh, over 10 years. Done a lot of composing as well. I've had the opportunity to uh, compose music for a couple dozen films and uh, TV shows, documentaries, won an Emmy Award. Teaching at Berkeley has been probably the most rewarding part of my career. I've gotten to see my students then go on and take the skills that they've learned in these classes, you know, including production analysis and all the other record production classes, and go out and apply these, these principles to making their own records you know, as artists and making records for people as varied as, as you know, Eminem and, and Sheryl Crow and, and Sting and, and Kelly Clarkson and Dr. Dre. The great thing about making records today, now, is that the technology has gotten so much less expensive. These tools are in the hands of more people than ever before. A lot of really creative people, people with something to say, people with talent. You know, there's no longer this huge chasm between those who get to make records and those who don't. What's missing in the equation now, though, is having people in the room that have decades of experience trying to really coalesce what the artist is trying to do, the vision of the artist, the intention of the artist, into something that people are going to get that's really going to convey that emotion. This course, Production Analysis, takes literally decades and decades worth of experience from record producers, not just me, but record producers that I've gotten to, to pick their brains, you know, uh, uh, Phil Ramone, Don Was, Kyle Lenny, the um, list goes on and on and tries to distill this into a focused step-by-step -step approach of really getting down to what are the essential elements of successful records. You're good, you would figure this stuff out eventually over 20 years, 30 years of making records. But what this is, is this is trying to save you a decade or two in terms of really realizing, ah, this is why these records work. We're gonna take a look at uh, some demos of some really famous records, Grammy winning number one records. Look at the demos of these records and then listen to the final record with the idea that the record minus the demo equals the production. My goal is that by the end of this course, you'll be able to listen in a much deeper way. You'll be able to listen like a producer. For me, the, the best the best reward is seeing my students um, out there making records, you know, picking up records at, at, the, at the record store and flipping them over and, and seeing my students' names on them um, and knowing that this is, you know, this is a record that's, that's you know, on the, on the top ten or that just won the Grammy Award. But more than, than awards is, is that, you know, my former students are making records that really do convey emotion and tell us something about this human experience and, and records that are really artistically sound records that really are, are moving forward the art form of record production to places it's never been.